That's right. In fact, uh, not just the foundation laying stone of uh, the bullet train. In fact, we are told at least uh, 15 to 20 memorandum of understandings which will be signed. And in fact, uh, a lot of investments uh, which will uh, be brought into Gujarat, we're told uh, that MOUs uh, will be signed between uh, the Japanese companies and companies based out of Gujarat. And as we speak, uh, if you can see uh, a large number of police personnel, uh, that the convoy, the convoy is in fact uh, moving. We understand this be uh, the convoy before the Prime Minister. Uh, the, the, this, this is the Chief Minister's convoy, perhaps, uh, which is we are not really sure about it. But the convoy, which is uh, moving through, and uh, this perhaps after this convoy goes through, that's when. Uh, we are expecting some time from now uh, the road show to begin. Uh, we are at the Sabarmati uh, Riverfront, uh, Natasha. This is uh, some distance away from uh, the Ahmedabad airport. Uh, uh, once uh, they land at the Ahmedabad airport, uh, he, along, uh, the, Mr. Modi, along with uh, the Japanese uh, Prime Minister, will then go uh, through this uh, route in a road show, as I have been uh, uh, mentioning. Uh, so we are still waiting uh, for the road show uh, to begin. But yes, in terms of uh, the significance of this uh, visit, uh, 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 it's uh, given the fact that in the next two days, uh, not just uh, the, the business delegations of both the sides will be meeting, but it will be a one-to-one -one exchange between uh, the Prime Minister Modi and Prime Minister Abe. So, uh, and the bullet train, of course, that's something that, you know, that has been on the anvil for quite some time. Now, a lot of anticipation and talks about a high-speed train in the Mumbai Ahmedabad corridor. But eventually, tomorrow, we'll see the uh, beginning of uh, that uh, project. In fact, the foundation stone will be laid at uh, the Sabar, near the Sabarmati railway station. That is where the terminal for the Ahmedabad side of uh, the, the first terminal from the Ahmedabad side will come up. Uh, it's about... Uh, 98,000, over 98,000 crore project. Uh, we understand it will reduce uh, the travel time between the two cities from Bombay and Ahmedabad uh, from around eight hours to two and a half, three hours. Uh, so clearly, a lot of uh, you know uh, significance being given uh, to this uh, visit, and especially for Gujarat. You know, uh, as you, uh, I know that the state is going to election in few months uh, from now. This has also helped uh, the party and also uh, the government to galvanize its uh, resources, putting in every bit into uh, uh, organizing a grand show for uh, Mr. Abe, and also at the same time market this visit of Mr. Abe as uh, the continued development agenda of uh, the BJP government. In fact. Uh, we uh, spoke to some uh, ministers and uh, the BJP leader, Mr. I.K. Jadeja, some time back, uh, in which he clearly mentioned that you know it shows how important uh, the party and the government was giving to the development agenda, and this is being built as that. This is being marketed as something of a head of a state who's been coming to the state, uh, not just uh, laying foundation stone for a high-speed network, but also bringing in investments uh, to the state. So for the BJP, for the Gujarat BJP, and also for the Prime Minister himself, who comes from the state. A lot of political uh, significance for this uh, uh, visit of uh, Mr. Abe. Okay, uh, Rohit. That's perhaps the, the, the... Okay, so this was a ceremonial Welcome there for uh, the Japanese uh, Prime Minister. The roadshow expected to begin uh, anytime now as soon as they're ready to walk out of this uh, airport.